and guardians, all of our faculty who is The first award, Algebra One Most Improved. I am presenting the Most Improved Algebra Student Award to a student who made amazing strides in algebra this year. He worked every day to improve and showed great perseverance. The Algebra Most Improved Award goes to Victor David Alia. Okay, the Algebra One Outstanding Award goes to a student who excelled academically all year long. They demonstrated the highest level of proficiency and was dedicated to excellence. The Outstanding Algebra One Award goes to Yun Huang. Next up is English, Ms. Paxton. Okay, welcome. So first is the outstanding award for English. This award is being given to a student who has demonstrated hard work, diligence, independence, and an eagerness to apply the strategies and skills of reading and writing. This particular student came to class every day wholeheartedly prepared to work. She has consistently demonstrated a desire to push herself, has a positive attitude, participated with completed all activities to the best of her ability. She leads and reflects the importance of education by the way she conducts herself on a daily basis. The outstanding award numerous times in the classroom and motivated. His work ethic and focus on doing well is an inspiration to his classmates. I have no doubt that he will continue to be successful academically and socially. The most improved award for English goes to Victor David Olia.
Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Um, on behalf of Ms. Gloff, I have some additional awards to present for English. The Outstanding Student Award is being presented to two students who are creative thinkers. These students are also persistent with the mastery of skills and dedicated to delivering quality writing and analysis. They are both fun and dedicated to helping their fellow classmates. The Outstanding Student Award for English goes to Lucy Scott and Ali Lesko. Okay, additionally, Ms. Gloff wanted to present two students with the most improved award. These students are fun and helpful. Both students sought to improve their grades throughout the year with effort and perseverance and helped each other along the way. The most improved award for English goes to Aiden Foger and Aura Adelman. Okay, at this time, I'd like to ask uh, Ms. Bafanik up to the podium to present the ELA Intervention Awards. Hi. I'll bring it down a little. All right. Um, I'm so excited to present the outstanding award for ELA intervention to a student who has gone above and beyond all year long. I've known this student since sixth grade and the skills have risen beyond. It is very exciting to note the diligence, the excellent character that this student presents to all her peers the wonderful, wonderful work that has been produced and the love for reading and writing that she shared with all her peers. I'd like us to recognize Amber Jimenez for her excellent work over the years. <laughs> Congratulations. Aww. And for most improved award, this student has already been on the stage and I want to note that I have so many students I would also like to recognize in my heart and I will speak to them as well. Um, but I would like to specifically recognize this student who has grown so significantly since sixth grade and has become an independent worker, someone who seeks knowledge and clarification and who is going to make her way through high school so, so well. I am very proud of Aiden Foger and want to recognize her um, for her accomplishments um, throughout the years. <laughs> Come here. I'm super proud. You can you can see how you can see what I do. <laughs> and I'd like to call to the stage Ms. Dana Nelson to uh, present the ESL awards. Okay. Hello everyone, I'd like to present the most improved award for ESL 
to a student who consistently worked hard and was very organized, dedicated, and determined throughout the school year. I am very proud of her growth in her English language proficiency. That student is Tally Kim. Congratulations. And I would like to present for ESL an Outstanding Academic Achievement Award to a student who worked hard, worked consistently, was organized and responsible. In addition, advocated for himself by asking questions as well as helping his classmates. That student is Alexei Rajkov. Congratulations, Alexi. You Thank worked you. really hard. <laughs> okay, and I would like to welcome to the stage Miss Ford to present the awards for geometry. Okay, the Geometry Most Improved Award goes to a student who worked hard at improving throughout the year. He took the effort to make revisions and corrections, and he came for help when needed. It is my pleasure to give the Geometry Most Improved Award to Noah Jurisic. The Geometry Outstanding Award. This student was dedicated to achieving the highest level of excellence in geometry. She was unwavering in her work ethic and demonstrated the highest lo level of proficiency. I am pleased to present the Outstanding Award in Geometry to Rebecca Yu. All right, I would now like to welcome Ms. Frango and Ms. Branchek to present the Global Civics Award. This recipient for the most improved in global civics this year is a student that I have the pleasure of knowing for three years and the opportunity to teach for two years. His most improved award is for his transformation from sixth to eighth grade and the leaps and bounds that he grew from first marking period this year through graduation today. In sixth grade, the student gave me a run for my but I'm happy to say that his is a story of great academic, social, and emotional growth. I'm so proud of Alaric Yuvin for tapping into the potential that so many of us in the middle school knew that he had before he did. Congratulations and good luck in high school and beyond. Ruby Miller. 
The outstanding award for Global Civics goes to a student who appears quiet and shy, but the more you get to know her, the more you realize that she's a force to be reckoned with. Ruby Miller is brilliant. She's passionate, caring, and brave. Ruby faces challenges head on and always keeps her composure and possesses leadership qualities that are sure to take her far in life. Look forward to seeing the mark that you leave on the world. Congratulations, Ruby. Um, so for my two students, uh, my most improved student, um, not sure he's here, but he has worked really hard this year throughout the year, listening to my feedback and really working hard to improve his work and uh, his participation. And he has become a true class leader in our class. And this award goes to Marcos Hanselis. Okay. And my outstanding student, I know it's not here, he's on the other side of the world, but he has worked very hard this year um, to overcome a lot of obstacles. He always wants to do his best. Um, he really has set goals for himself to uh, for self-improvement, and he has a very strong interest in global issues that I know he's looking forward to pursuing in high school. And that student is Yinju Liu. Okay, and at this time, I would like to invite Ms. Ailey and Ms. Takix to uh, present the math awards. That's right. Good morning, everybody. All right, so I'm with the Outstanding Math 8 Award. This goes to a student who puts so much pride into their academics. She's always present in class on Zoom. She was one of the top participants and always puts her best effort into all of her assignments. The Outstanding Math 8, math 8 Award goes to Allie Lesko. Okay, and then next I'm gonna do the most improved Math 8 award. This goes to a student who made so much progress this year in eighth grade. However, I was also lucky enough to have this student in sixth grade as well. I'm so proud of all the hard work that they have put forth the past three years in middle school. Um, the most improved Math 8 award goes to Yereni Ramirez Perez. So I have most improved and outstanding in math eight for my two classes. So I'm gonna start with outstanding in math eight. So I've had the pleasure of teaching these students for the past two years, and this student has shown tremendous growth and perseverance this past year. This student asks questions, completes all their work, and always asks how they can improve their skills. I would like to present the outstanding math eight award to Liana Shabarber. What was it? What was it? All 
All right, so for most improved for Math 8, I've had the pleasure of watching this student grow in their mathematics ability over the past two years. This student has grown in confidence in their ability to apply their skills they have learned in class to more complex real world problems. We have endless conversations on Zoom and we go over our office hours by probably 30, to an, 30 minutes to an hour and I appreciate every conversation that we have had. So I would like to do the most improved in Math 8 to Jarelli Morales Avia. I would like to invite for science Ms. Maroon and Ms. Branchak. The science award is very hard to give because everybody does an excellent job, but this student went above and beyond. So this is the most improved student. That means that this student did more towards the end of the year, even though things were harder for her, and she did an excellent job. The most improved science award goes to Lily Solomon. The Outstanding Science Award goes to a student who did so much this year, I wish I could tell her she's really the perfect student. This student did everything and above and beyond what was asked of her. This award goes to Victoria. Um, for my most improved student, uh, this is a student who, again, I've been fortunate to know for, uh, I guess, two years now. And he has worked hard to improve his skills as a student, to participate more in class, to ask help when needed. And I re I'm really proud of him and would like to recognize him for his efforts, and that's your scene on that. And for um, my outstanding award in science, a is a student I've known for three years. I've had the honor of teaching her for three years. And the growth she's shown is incredible. She um, always works hard. She always wants to do her best. Um, she is a class leader. She's always there to help whoever needs it and her knowledge of science uh, that we have learned is incredible. Um, and she is just a really strong student scientist, Nimi Mohan.
I would like to um, have Miss uh, introduce Miss have Miss Hawthorne come up to the stage and give the art awards. Good morning. The award for most improved this year goes to a very talented artist whose artistic skills have developed over the years, but even more importantly, so has her confidence, her work ethic, and creative expression. The most improved award goes to Samantha Milstead. So for most outstanding, it is so hard to pick one artist, especially in such a talented group of young people. Um, but one lady in particular has blown me away this year. She has demonstrated a natural artistic ability that has grown immensely in our three years together. She always goes above and beyond for each project, sometimes doing more than one. For this reason and more, the award for most outstanding artist goes to Ali Lesko. And now I'd like to introduce Mr. Bolivar to give the award for band. Hello. Um, the most improved award for band goes to a student showing significant growth and performance in the area of band. The student's ability throughout the course of the year uh, has grown exponentially, and they're even playing uh, the lead part in jazz band for one of our selections. The most improved award goes to Lucy Scott. The Outstanding Band Member Award goes to a student with a strong musical ability and performance in band. This student took up an entirely new instrument just to join the extracurriculars and worked so very hard on all their assignments throughout the course of the year. I am proud to give the Outstanding Band Member Award to Emma Pan. Now presenting our awards and choirs in this chambers. Hi there. Uh, as a teacher in the middle school and the high school, I feel really fortunate to be able to follow students' growth from their entrance in the middle school in sixth grade all the way to their graduation in high school. And I'm excited to welcome both of these students into ninth grade next year. My most improved award goes to a student who joined me in seventh grade with no musical or performance experience and has emerged as a vocal and collaborative leader in class. I'm so proud of him, Victor David Olea.
And the outstanding award in chorus goes to a student who joined me in sixth grade um, and has been a very strong, not just vocalist and collaborator, but a leader, um, someone who's in my room all the time. And I'm so grateful for all of those moments. But if I could give an award for best treble clef drawing, then I would. Our outstanding student award goes to Eliza Boylan. I'm happy to introduce Ms. Perez to introduce the um, orchestra awards. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the most improved award uh, is going to a student who always made an extra effort to improve on her assignments. Learning an instrument online is not an easy task. Um, and by asking questions and always asking for lessons and clarification, she showed persistence and resilience. Congratulations, Sophia Stevens. All right, the outstanding award for orchestra goes to a student who not only takes lessons at school, but has private violin lessons once a week outside of school. During the pandemic, she never let anything get in the way of her practice time and her hard work has prepared her for high school orchestra where she will be a force to be reckoned with in the violin section. Congratulations, Miriam Klee. I'd like to now um, welcome up Miss June Miller to the stage for the GLOW Awards. Hi, I have three amazing students to recognize today. The first award I am giving is for excellent academics. The student who's getting this award I have had for two years, and during that time, she has consistently demonstrated an overwhelming desire to learn just for the sake of learning. She takes pride in her accomplishments, even if they're not for a grade, and often will just private message me in the chat just to let me know how she's doing. And the improvement in her academic skills more than illustrates this. I am very proud to give this award to Jessica Lynn. The next student I'm presenting an award to is an award for what I call unbelievable perseverance. This award goes to an ESL student. However, rather than let the language barrier stand in her way, this student spends as much additional time as she needs to figure out what she needs to understand and then spends even more time working her hardest to complete the work. As a result, she has completely amazed me at what she's been able to do and has office accomplished more than her native speaking English years. Therefore, I am very happy to give this award to Jana Biomi. Thank 
Last but certainly not least, I have an award for outstanding leadership. This student has always been the first to volunteer to help other students in the class, eagerly and with a smile. But in all honesty, her initiative has actually helped me tremendously, and I cannot tell you how much time her ideas and systems have saved me. Without being asked, she came up with a system that uh, just allowed me to know certain work that was accomplished and showed it to me, and I'm like, wow, <laughs> thank you. Um, I am so grateful for all she has done to help me and our class, and I know she's going to continue to do more, so congratulations to Nimi Mohan. And now I would like to ask Ms. Dunato to come up to give the Makerspace Award. The person that has earned the most improved award in Makerspace is hardworking, reflective in their work, a risk taker. I've seen tremendous growth with this, with this student over the last three years, both socially as well as academically. And the improvements that this student has made have amazed me. This award goes to Mahogany Wilson. Come a long way, baby. For outstanding space student, this student has all the skills that reflect or show what a makerspace is all about. This student is collaborative. This student has amazing communication skills, both in an, with an ability to help peers as well as to help me. This student is extremely creative and is a leader. Um, she was instrumental in making online learning easier for me. This award goes to Victoria Son. I'd like to invite Mrs. Chen to the podium to give out the Mandarin Awards. <laughs> I'm too short, okay. Okay. Um, so um, I'm very fortunate to see my all students since sixth grade to eighth grade. So I see um, most of my students start from sixth grade, maybe frustrating, um, but respectful. And when they turn seventh grade and start from March, they have to adjust to the Zoom learning environment. So some of you start to feel very, even more frustration, okay? And then eighth grade, I see the struggle from trying to seeking for help. So among those students, um, Canon Campbell represent you. So 
This work most improved goes to Canon. And for the outstanding work, it's for the student who consistently um, work hard and never give up. And not only work for the class requirement, the level standards, but also challenge herself, themselves to go for beyond the expectation uh, for many more. But um, the award goes to Maria Leviana. You represent those wonderful students. Okay, now welcome uh, Ms. Washington and Mr. Glenn for the Physical Education Award. Good morning, everyone. Glad you guys came out today in this wonderful summer day. Uh, before I give the awards, before we say the awards about any of the four students that we're going to give, I just want to congratulate all the students. One, we've seen you for the last three years, so we've seen your growth from sixth grade to eighth grade. We've seen the maturity, which we see every year, and we applaud you for that. But more importantly, you know, we think about the last year where we were in March of 2020, in unprecedented times, and we had no idea what was going on and how we were going to deal with it and where we are today. And I think because of your perseverance and your adversity and your fortitude and steadfastness, I truly believe that you're built for success in the near future. You know, when you're a kid, we're resilient. We sometimes forget that as adults, and I try to remember. I truly believe that you can accomplish anything that you want in any of your goals, so I applaud you for that. Um, our first two awards are for most improved. Uh, this young lady, uh, when she was on uh, virtual every day, I truly appreciate the fact that one, she would say good morning to me, two, she did her work, and three, she always told me to have a good day. And that's, that always resonates with me, those little things. And when she came back to school, she was willing to participate in any activity, and some of them she didn't know and would ask and give her all. And I Ms. Washington and I really appreciated her effort every day, and that is Maria Lavina. And this young gentleman who is most improved, when we were discussing him, Ms. Washington and I, we thought of when he was in sixth grade and uh, would he be reading a book or sitting in the stands and very difficult to get him motivated to try to do anything. And then here we are in eighth grade and he comes back and he is running around. He's involved in every single activity, giving his best effort. More, most importantly, his enthusiasm, I think, uh, transformed the class just by the fact that he was constantly participating and just giving his all all the time. And that is... Ben Michello BB.
Thank you so much. <laughs> What's this one? No, it's Oh, yeah. Our most outstanding, this gentleman, uh, you know, we've had since sixth grade, like I said earlier, he also was with Mr. Kimmick, who's in the uh, high school during second, uh, second period, and he got uh, switched over to my class. He's someone, though, that, uh, you know, not that you're given like the best athlete award, but he can do any activity. But most importantly, he doesn't boast about it. He knows he's pretty good. I see him out here every morning. Every morning he's doing sprints. He's running the track. He's putting in time. Uh, he gets along with all his classmates, which I think is a tribute to him. And that individual is? Seamus McKinnon. Our most outstanding um, young lady, um, I have had the pleasure to have her for three years. And there's a, you could say a lot about her. I mean, one, she's a very good athlete. She participates in every single activity uh, and gives 110%. Also, she's one of the nicest kids that I've, I know. Uh, constantly thanking, constantly telling me also to have a great day, asking me how my day is every single day. How, how was your weekend? What'd you do this weekend? Small talk like that resonates with me and it goes far, um, as well as the fact that she gives 110% every day. And that is? Athanasia Kempitsitz. And now we'd like to introduce Miss Giovanetti for Spanish Awards. This is so tall. Y'all are taller than me. Okay. So first of all, I want to tell all of you that whenever I do these awards, I think especially more than ever, you all deserve an award. So clap for yourselves because this year was not the best year in the world and you all put up with it. And I'm so proud of you and I will miss you all. And parents, y'all deserve an award too. And I'm so glad my kids don't live at home anymore and I have to do this. So I just wanted to say that you all deserve so much credit. And if I could give an award to all of you, I would. Okay, so I'm going to start with outstanding. Atanasia, you shouldn't have sat down. So Atanasia Venga, my award is for Atanasia Cambitsis. Um, throughout this crazy year, Atanasia modeled what it meant to be a language learner. She led with curiosity, engagement, and thought. And her work for me always reflected great motivation and Spanish proficiency. And she saved us on Zoom sometimes when everybody was tired. So thank you, Atanasia. Gracias, Atanasia. Estoy bien sudada. Okay, and um, our next person from Most Improved, and a lot of you improved. I don't want you to think that you didn't. I could have nominated a lot of people, but. This is a person who stands out for me, Zaina Abonoa. Okay, um, so Zaina, I nominated you because you always took ownership of your Spanish journey. You showed great pride and creativity in your work. She was always one to stay on the Zoom and ask a question or show up in office hours to clarify and, and that was very much appreciated. Y os felicito a todos. Suerte, amor, felicidad, éxito, alegría. Chao. Go, 
Oh, go down the ramp. Yeah. <laughs> so I just want to thank all of the parents for coming out today. I also want to thank all of the eighth graders for supporting your classmates who were recognized today. I could not be more proud of you guys. Um, you deserve every single thing that's coming your way. So that concludes the eighth grade awards. I would like to invite the parents and the students to join us for some um, beverages and snacks at the table underneath the tent. Um, so you can make your way down there now and enjoy a little bit of time, a little bit, uh, a half an hour or so before we move on to the eighth grade moving up ceremony. <laughs>